Finally, after all the hard work, it's time to interpret the results. We have four scenarios here. The first scenario is if the exogenous construct is a significant determinant and a necessary condition. How can we conclude it? We can say that, for example, on average, an increase in the exogenous construct will increase the outcome. However, a certain level of the exogenous construct is necessary for the outcome to manifest. If the exogenous construct is a significant determinant but not a necessary condition, we can say that an increase in x will increase the y, but there is no minimum level of the construct is needed to ensure the outcome will manifest. If it's a non-significant determinant but a necessary condition, we can say that a certain level of the x is necessary for the y to be achieved, but a further increase is not recommended as it will not increase the outcome any further. If it's neither a significant determinant nor a necessary condition, we can say that the increase of x will not increase the y and there is no minimum level of the, of the x is needed to ensure the outcome will manifest. Here we have two NCA analysis. We use one of them, we use the adoption intention as the outcome. The other one, we use the technology use as the outcome. The emotional value is a significant determinant. It is also a necessary condition because the d value is larger than 0 0.1 and the p value is significant. The ease of use, it is a non significant determinant, but it is a necessary condition because the d is larger than 0 0.1 and the p value is significant. So this is not a should have factor, but a must have factor. This one, perceived usefulness, is the same as the emotional value, both a should have factor and a must have factor. For the compatibility, we can see that it is a non significant determinant and is not a necessary condition because though the p value is good, but the d value is smaller than 0 0.1. So this is neither a must have nor a should have. We can do the same interpretation to the technology use. How do we combine it with the with this chart that we have just talked about. Let's see. Scenario number one, when the x is both a significant determinant and a necessary condition, for example, emotional value and perceived usefulness, we can say that on, on average, an increase in the emotional value and the perceived usefulness of a technology will increase its adoption. Also, a technology needs to have a certain minimum level of emotional value and perceived usefulness to be adopted. And then for the second scenario, we don't have any one here, then for scenario number three, we have ease of use. It is not a should have factor, but it is, it is a must have factor. We can say that a technology needs to have a certain level of ease of use to be adopted, but a further increase of the ease of use will on average not further increase the adoption intention. So a further investment, for example, will not be recommended. For the fourth scenario, for example, the compatibility, it is a non-significant determinant and not a necessary condition. We can say that the compatibility is neither a must-have nor a should-have factor for the adoption intention of the technology. Now we have learned how to perform NCA in PLS SEM. We have also learned how to report and how to interpret the result. Although I know that our videos here are quite fast, but I hope that you have already have a general idea about the whole process, both theoretically and practically.